It's been quite a while since I've uploaded anything on this channel since life has been sitting on my ass like a fat woman with a lolly, but I'm back from the dead. I'm hoping to do stuff a little more frequently and do some more stuff starting with IMO, a new experimental thing where I state my own opinions and talk about news and rumors going around the video game space. So without further ado, let's talk about something else that's come back from the grave. Resident Evil 3 came back like a taxpayer comes back to your house 5 minutes after you say you have a child and need a tax rebate without actually showing paperwork. Taken by the classic Resident Evil 3 game starring Stars Agent Jill- Starring Stars Agent Jill Valentine? <laughs> it seems to be given the Resident Evil 2 remake treatment. Through leaks of official artwork, we can also see that in place of the beloved tyrant Nemesis, we will actually be going up against Pinocchio, although I must say his new teeth I'm not too sure about. Moving on, Sword and Shield has come out and- Hold on. Yes, I know, another fucking Pokemon segment. I know you're tired of it. Sod off! <clears throat> Sword and Shield came out to quite high praise, actually. It turns out the game is actually good. And not the dumpster fire everyone thought. Yes, the game has flaws, the wild area looks like a hippopotamus is shit, and the game is still very tutorialized and linear, but the game overall still holds promise. Good for them. The Game Awards livestream finished only days ago, and so far all we've seen is... Oh, hold on. A script here only reads, um, fuck all. Yeah, fair enough. No Smash reveal or even anything Nintendo. Quite surprising when every Game Awards held, Nintendo announced something, usually Zelda related. So that sucks. And the world premieres were sort of, eh. They're cool, but nothing's really going on in them. However, Smash won Best Fighting Game, which, under its competition, was honestly a no-brainer. Reggie existed, and seeing my Slave Master, I mean, one of my favorite game developers, Hideo Kojima, on stage was a marvel. I mean, granted, Death Stranding was nominated like 50 times, but still. Lastly, a new generation of consoles! Holy shit! I can't wait to hear nothing about them! What I loved most about the Game Awards was Phil Spencer going on stage, saying absolutely nothing concrete, and leaving. PR, everybody! And speaking of things that start with P and ends in sadness, the PS5 has been confirmed with a game I know nothing about on the way. One more thing. Many games are coming out extremely soon next year, including, but not limited to, Cyberpunk 2077, Watch Dogs Legion, Persona 5 Royale, and I'm probably honestly gonna nab a PS4 just for that, Animal Crossing, and of course, Resident Evil 3. I believe this year might be quite a fine one for video games, but hey, just my opinion. What else have we got? Oh, fuck. 